This is my second modification for the uh, syscooling pump to remove the air. The first modification, um, I'll link to my video now, but it was quite time consuming. Uh, this one is really, really simple. It's basically a screw in the top of the pump at the highest point of the reservoir. Um, it's a parallel threaded screw, all I've done is drilled a hole slightly smaller than the thread, heated the screw up with a lighter for about 15-20 seconds and put the screw in the hole. Now because of the heat it would have made its own threads. Um, it would have also reduced the uh, the debris that would have been created had I tapped the hole. So anyway I took that back out and I've put in a um, an o-ring just to be doubly sure and as you can see there's only one very small bubble in there the pump is running just now uh, the computer's not on just running from a, an external power source and it uh, seems to be doing fine so I'm just doing a leak test just now um, I'm pretty confident Another thing I should mention about a leak test though is it's okay testing it, you can test it all day at ambient temperature 20-25 degrees but it's not going to leak um, until the system heats up that's because it's a closed system, closed loop system so it will increase the pressure in the system um, also water becomes less viscous at higher temperatures not a great amount, but it's still uh, enough to find smaller cracks. Um, so, obviously your components in the system as well will fuel the heat. Your plastics, your hoses will become a bit more malleable. Um, thus increasing its uh, ability to leak. So it's running now at ambient temperatures and it's not, going, it's not leaking. So what I'll do is I will, in about an hour, I will, there's no point in doing a 24 hour test. I've heard this so many times, it's a lot of rubbish. What I'll do in about an hour, I will uh, just walk past it again and check it and then plug it into the, the power supply. It's proper power supply. Start the computer up and run a graphically demanding uh, program. Uh, like Unigen or Prime95. Sorry, not Prime95, that's a CPU one. Or, sorry, um, Furmark. And that way I can increase the temperature in the system quite significantly with the graphics cards. So that will change the full temperature in the system. Um, and then we can take it from there. Uh, just check for leaks at that point. Okay, cheers. Right, that's the computer running now. I've taken the screw at the top. So, let me just see if I can get this. There we go. Right. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to run a high temperature software. Right, I'm running Heaven Bench 11. So as you can see here, there's a bit of air in the system. it's going to get hot. It's at 21 degrees just now. You can see the air is making way. Just try to make this easier for to see. The air's getting compressed. The water's getting pushed out. I don't mind getting that air out. There we go. Next to come out is going to be water. It's at 25 degrees now. And you can see the water's getting pushed out. So if I hadn't taken this off, the system would be pressurising just now. Now, there's no air in the system apart from a couple of small bubbles so obviously th those will be heating up 
and expand them very very slightly but so the water and it is very very slight but it's enough to pressurise the system so what I'm going to do is I'm going to heat it up and then I'll put the screw in I'm not going to take it right to the 50 degrees or anything like that I will heat it up to probably about uh, 35 to 40 degrees 